all right welcome back to the channel i'm king of bad in today's video we're back playing star wars jedi fallen order uh like i said last time don't forget to like the video subscribe all this stuff helps me grow the channel uh i want to get that out the way at the beginning because i really don't care about saying it at the end of everything but we're about to land on wherever the fuck we're going i actually forgot and i'm recording this not long after the last recording too i think it's kefo of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. I realize I don't know the pilot's name, but he's fed up with the way they got him flying. He did not want to fly into the middle of this storm. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perfect landed. <laughs> Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. When I just looked at uh, the girls here too, I forgot all of their names. We did good work on Vagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. Oh, that's hard as much. Anyways, I looked at her hair during that cutscene. They put a lot more detail into her hair than I realized they did. Um, let's see where we need to go. Yeah, this is Zepho that we landed on, so. Okay, yeah. And I just realized that this game actually isn't that long. I just pl been playing it really fucking slow on my own. Uh, like, it took me like an hour or three to get through the first uh planet just because i was running around exploring stuff so maybe this will make it a little well, not even more enjoyable because i haven't had any complaints about the game for real besides my own gameplay which is you know just me but we're here looking for clues of, well, we're looking for a hidden temple here and i think i remember my way somewhat through this area oh we also have like fuck hang on how do i pull up that e q escape dumbass anyways we also have the ability to customize what we look like personally i really don't like any of these i like the normal the normal stuff better because these pawns just kind of look uh just too baggy basically there's no point in him wearing a poncho either but i also don't like the way like this one just looks like a welder's outfit this one's too bright and this one i guess this one isn't bad the black and yellow on bd wait oh shit his name is bd1 i've been calling him bb1 this whole time Duh, i don't like that this looks like uh that one fuck i can't remember what the the type of ship is called but i think it's a common one for the either the republic or the i don't like that how that looks either it's either for the republic or the resistance one of those to have this like black and yellow ship constantly but i can't remember where it's from nah nah it's the ships on that boo those starfighters that have like the two uh boosters on the side and like a long narrow fuselage in the middle those ones if i remember to look at them well, if i remember to look it up i'll probably throw a picture in it <laughs> right now just so you can see too Like I said before, they did a lot. Well, I mean, I appreciate a game that does a lot with its background. I, I know I talked about it with Anthem too, where you can just see a lot, like really far into the distance. That's something I've been enjoying. Okay. So we got a scaz. That's what these little things are, I guess. And then a stormtrooper. Can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zepho. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. 
Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into there. Interesting. It's always, I always find it weird. Oh, hello, hello. Cool, got that off first. I always find it weird how you can always tap into someone else's comms and them not know. Like when their comms are being jammed, of course you always know. Like if you've seen Space Jams, they knew as soon, or not Space Jam, Space Balls, as soon as they got their stuff hacked, they knew immediately. Cause you know, the jam started coming through the screen and shit. But like in this game, they know when they can't get a, a communication out, but they never seem to know when someone else is listening in. I need to be in here. I actually can't remember. Should be here. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Ah, that's where the first extension comes from. I've never found any more of those. But that increases it from two to three. I just jump over this edge no but i like how they instead of just like uh recording a bunch of voice lines and then trying to listen in because it always comes through quieter i like how they instead just have him say the basics of what happened because he's seeing like actual visuals of this he's tapping into the memories of that object or wherever the echo is so for him he's getting all of these random memories which good for espionage but in general life like if you're touching stuff and accidentally picking up memories all over the place i'm sure you can catch a few bad ones This opens up another shortcut. Okay, yeah, there we go. So now, next time I come back here, I can just run straight into wherever we're going. The real question is how do I block that dude that I can't even see him? Bitch. Okay. Something back this way. I actually never turned around in this area. I don't think. Yup. Hey. Let's see. What do I get? Another. Ooh, that was weird. He did that thing, <laughs> like in Tom and Jerry or Looney Tunes, where you're running on air. Can't climb this one though. Definitely looks like it. That's the one thing that I think that's probably my only complaint is seeing stuff and thinking that you can climb on it, but it turns out that you can't. I ain't no help coming for you, boy. Bitch. I'm, that first dude got fucked up, though. I'm not going to front. That man got ran up on and immediately had a. If this wasn't a video game, he would have died sliced diagonally immediately. He got juked and then I guess he died from one hit because his back was to me or something. Uh, okay. Where am I trying to go in here? Just straight across the entire thing or back up across and backwards. I think I want to open up that back way first because it looks like it could be a shortcut of some kind. And that's why I like that ability too. You can close the distance very quickly, take out whatever it is and get back on with your day. Sounds like the mother and father of the child that we were talking about before. Basically the beginning of that last memory. Eviction notice. Yep. The Empire just wanted this land. Sounds pretty uh familiar. Living oh shit! I bet you thought she was finna touch me. <laughs> you can't. That was the smoothest encounter of fighting people I've ever had. Ever. That first dude really thought he had me, though. I thought he had me, too. I thought I was going to uh, just get hit. Nah, that little dodge thing apparently uh, phases you out of existence, I guess. I guess right now I'm just going around trying to clear the area. Get you out the way. 
Get up. Yeah, you're right. It's his back swings when he swings like that is always so aggressive too. Let's see, where am I trying to get to now? This is gonna lead me back towards that door I was talking about. Oh, I can make that jump. What's that? That looks like something. Oh, he can't do damage to me while I'm opening this. Cool, great. Actually, no, he still might have hurt me. You want to shoot? Bitch. Okay. Okay, I can cancel it. That's what happened. I'll show thing like it didn't tell me what I got. New outfit acquired. Let's check that out. Cause I already don't like what I'm wearing enough. Was this the base outfit? Oh, I actually never got this before. So what poncho goes with this then? I think this poncho still goes better. We kind of look like desert, not Raider, but like just desert period. It says I should be able to go in here. So let's see what we find. It's probably going to be a whole little, either this is a little side quest or it's just a place to save, but I definitely never came in here before. I think I kind of just ran through the last area pretty easily. Uh, okay. Now we got more stuff to do on the skill, skill tree as well. Powerful attack after an overhead slash. Don't really use that. Attacking after a quick evade allows Cal to quit. Blah, blah, blah. Attacking out of a sprint allows Cal to perform a special attack. I like that. This is like a, yeah, powerful backswing. Uses his momentum to keep it going. I don't want this one right now because I barely use this ability and that kind of builds off of that. But I don't want to leave it blank and then it'd be like, oh, yeah, you got to get this one and that one to get the next one. I'm going to get both of these because now I get that kick ability, which I've actually never used for real because I usually dodge because I'm mashing the uh, the avoid ability, basically. And rest. Although I don't think I needed to there either. I haven't taken much damage so far. Usually I'd be like almost dead often. I'm doing pretty okay now, but I do have to fight my way back out of this room. Is this another shortcut? Yep. Okay. So now I have a shortcut all the way to this back area. And I don't even know what the point of that first one was now, but this one has a save area tied to it. So maybe I remember to use this one over the other direction. Who knows though? Uh, let's check back this way too, because there's probably something hidden, and I did talk about going across this. Nah, you don't have to. There's nothing back this way. Nah, you can't hit me right now. I'm glad he didn't hit me, because he definitely could have just hit me back down. I don't remember any of this section. Go get him. That's probably not good. No, it's not. Cool. Found another secret. I was talking about how I didn't want to look for the secrets for real, and then I'm still off. Off by myself just wandering around but it's more like i don't want to look for the secrets on planets like the first planet i could have ran all around that planet looking for secrets because it's literally a maze okay what are we trying to get to now we can keep going forward there's a bridge that's out over there so it looks like we chose the right direction to go actually that man's gonna get assassinated it's a shame It's a shame. It's funny I'm talking all this shit right now, but I've been playing. I'm playing on the easiest game mode after playing on not the easiest game mode, but it was like the second easiest, so it wasn't that much more difficult. But this is still way easier. It feels like, well, not even easier, but just less. The timing for the block is really the main thing, where it's less complicated, and it feels like the enemies are far less aggressive. 
I probably should have started here on my first run and then did the second run slightly easier, but I'm doing this for the story. Uh, yeah, I just saved though, so I should be good there. Hopefully it still makes this my, like save my respawn point. That's the bigger reason why I keep hitting all of those because if you don't, I remember one time I got set back like 10 or 20 minutes of running because I didn't make it to another save point. We got two directions we can go, but no overall direction that we need to get to just yet. So let's go forward or go across. Let's go this way. There's got to be somewhere in here to turn the power on. I didn't expect him to stop moving right there. I thought he was going to keep walking because I, I kept holding forward. But then I guess where I looked became forward, which, you know, makes sense. But still. My friend, in the rotation since I left Bogano, I've uncovered more about the Cepho than I once believed possible. All right, this is where the shortcut lets out. So we got to go back the other way. Whoa, I almost fell off the edge right there. All right, so let's check out this direction. Uh, this direction. Looks like there's a secret over there. So yeah, I definitely almost missed it. I do like how it's possible to miss them, but they're not hard to see. You know what I mean? Like if for some reason my darkness was too low or what I also I don't know if I've gotten some of these I feel like I've gotten more secrets so far or more secrets in the areas that I've been in so far than I have in my own playthrough But I like how they're not necessarily hidden like they're still Close to your line of sight if you look around you'll probably find it For the most part, but then there's also ones that are like you got to be like off the beaten path for real to get to it so I kind of like that mixture of try hard to find everything, but you can find a lot of this stuff without. Get over here, intruder. You bitch. Should have paid attention to the bigger threat. Whore. And I think one's going to walk out of this too. Bitch. Okay. I died a lot, a lot in this area because I also got lost here. gonna die okay cool Whoa. 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 Get back to it. all right cool all right that was great completely planned uh these things I fucking hate Because look, he almost knocked me off the edge. Oh, do I still get to scan it? Nope. Yep. All right. No, nah, those things knocked me off the edge like several times later on this planet too. This is the planet that I learned to hate those things. Makes sense. Got to make up excuses for why all of your aim is terrible. Uh, hang on. I gotta fucking dodge this rocket. Can I get the scan off still? Nah, not at all. I feel like I can be far more aggressive in this story uh, game mode than when I play it by myself. I think this is a mine. <gasps> I was going to try and go for it. I thought he was going to be able to make that jump. Nah, I'm definitely not. I don't know why I'm trying to rush through like this is going to fall. Whoa. 
That's gotta be one of the Zeppo. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? Now, I don't know if the Zeppo were in Star Wars anywhere else, but I know in Star Wars, the Clone Wars, because they're supposed to be like ancient force beings, right? So I know in Star Wars, the Clone Wars is that area. I don't know if it was a planet that uh, Anakin went to. I don't know if anyone else is with him either. I can't remember. And he was basically faced with like an entity of like pure light and pure dark side of the force. And he had to figure out his own way through it because he's supposed to be the chosen one. So I feel like the Zephyr might be related to those because they're ancient creatures that we don't really know what it looks like. Can't remember what they look like in Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars. Probably put that in too if I can find them. Uh, the issue is that there's only, it's like a, it, it felt like a filler episode for Clone Wars basically because it didn't feel like it was consequent and it didn't feel like it was anything that mattered. Yeah, Ooh, you lucky I can't yeah, get up okay. there. I'm after you, ho. Um, but I feel like it might be connected to them. These ancient force beings, right? Ooh, that rocket almost hit me. What? Why not? Whatever. As long as I made it across. I don't know if this is a hidden area. Oh, no. That's where I just came from, dumbass. Ooh, I almost didn't make that. I'm glad the game just gave it to me. Shame. We found the Jedi. I don't know what that was. That's my favorite one. The fucking flip up. Yes, you do. Okay. I can't push it. Yeah, I'm talking too much shit. I'm be honest. I'm talking shit like I know how to play For Honor at one of these other like melee based fighting games or melee based. I don't even know how to describe it. They describe this game as a melee based something game, but I can't remember. Uh, at this point, at this point, I probably want to improve my health. I think we're getting close to a boss fight, so you don't want to go into those with too little health or, health or anything. I don't use too much force, too many force abilities. Most of that dash forward is what I use while fighting. Ah, oh, shit, it's one of these dudes. I still try and reflect back their uh, things to them instead of just blocking the attacks, uh, which is why they do. I'd say all guy one of these guys. It's only my fault that they're so difficult. I can really block until they have to stop shooting for a second, then dash up to them. But I like trying to block all of the shots because it makes me feel like I'm an actual Jedi, you know? Got two directions to go through. We'll start up here since we had already already ended up up here. Ah, I remember this. <gasps> Grab it. Bitch, thought you was gonna fucking hit me off of here. Get out of my face. Anyways, how long are we going? Okay. So, it looks like this direction that we actually. Oops. That we actually need to go in. Forgot that you have to actually climb these because I always jump through the vines or around on like actual climbing areas. Not just. Our, but on the ropes, you have to climb it, you know? Why did it make that no. Oh, hang on a second. Is this a shortcut back? Nah, but there is something hidden back here. Hey there, BB1. It's not what I was trying to do, but yeah, you can just talk to BB1. Okay, it's BD1, not BB1, but whatever. I'll get there eventually. What's down there? The lead up to here, okay. I've definitely gotten that one before. 
not what I meant to do. It also was not a close one, but whatever. I think you can increase the amount of health that those give you also. In accordance with the Emperor's will, we've occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. It is my recommendation that we disband the project and leave a token outpost to keep scavengers from stealing our technology. Project Augur. I was going to mention that also. So Project Cinder was the occurrence in Battlefront 2. Don't know if Battlefront 1 had a story of its own or anything like that. But still, there's always a project that the Empire is working on. It's always in some way to either decimate another planet. Bitch. Yeah, that's why you need your fucking partner. He wasn't even helping you. Uh, is it to increase their own power or decimate some other planet? Now, I just realized there's a save point right behind me, which I'm definitely going to hit real quick. Then come back to do this. All right, so now back to what we were doing before. What the fuck? Okay. This is how I lost all my goddamn health. Grab the goddamn rope. How exact do I gotta be? Shit. Okay. I should have just abandoned that. Now, I don't really get this force slow ability or like where it came from. I never knew that was there. I'm going to go get that shit. I don't understand this force ability, like the force slow or anything like that. Or where it comes from, because in, in this game, it's the first I've ever seen it. Usually it's always just like push, pull. Uh, it's kind of it for the light side, at least. Dura still bleed? Okay. Actually, I might have got that before. I think I use Dura still constantly. I think it's a black on it, but I took. It is a safe one. But I have to uh like get to a, a, a lightsaber post or a lightsaber workshop. Ooh, barely got that out. Lightsaber workshop before I can actually use it. Oh, I'm gonna drop in and kill that bitch right there. Yeah. Oh, no, you shouldn't be so sure. You're all that le that's left, but uh, you wasn't much. Keep calm and watch yourself. Shoots his own self in the face. If I'm that close to you, you should probably just throw a punch or something. Really doesn't mean much. I feel like the stormtroopers, the only tactical advantage they had over the droids the way that the empires used them the only tactical advantage they had over the droids is that um uh actually they don't have any because they're that they're cheaper i guess maybe um no i can't think of a reason why they would switch to to living fighters instead of using droids the better grab okay because using droids meant that you can just build it they weren't well-made droids for the most part, but I guess you can just train people to be more effective instead of having to uh, build it all together. What, do they know? what no the fuck was that? No mention of Cordova. But you do have to raise the clone off. Like they didn't, then we have the advantage. they didn't go into much, like during the Clone Wars, they went into a lot about how they have to clone the clone troopers and all that. And what else? how you clone them they have to be raised up into a certain age they have like an accelerated growth rate so they're ready to go when they're like seven or some shit but the 
when they're when they work for the empire geez there we go when they work for the empire the empire hasn't had any issues producing them i know they had a deal with i can't remember i think it's the geonosians or something like that can't remember if that's what their name actually is or if that's the plant the right planet but the people who are developing the clones the long neck giraffe looking people with the classic alien heads those guys had a deal with the separatists which is what, what how order 66 took place i think it's order 66 can't remember that either see like i'm a i'm a nerd but like, i'm not a good nerd i don't know the shit verbatim but uh i know enough but after order 66 there's no there, there's like no issue making clones anymore i understand that the empire is in control of literally all the money and everything in the galaxy at this point but you would still think that they have they'd mention it some more right and i know they stopped making clones eventually when it came around when the first orders reign came about and then at that point they were just drafting whoever they took over like doing what the romans did but worse i think it was the romans who would they would enslave people but they still had like or they would capture a place and slave them but like the empire is still worse yeah i'd rather play stand all right so thanks for watching the video uh the same little sign off almost did it again i did it up front uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.